Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. It's Dan Strong with Excel. VBA is fun. Uh, today we're going to continue on all about charts. And I've actually made a copy of the sheet that we just worked on uh, a few days ago. And uh, that way, uh, the sheet name is not actually chart one, which is similar to the name of this actual chart. So uh, one thing I want to bring up is you may find that, um, oh, well, I want to click on this chart and rename it. I want to name it... Um, sales chart and if you hit enter you see that it says no we're not going to let you rename it in the names box that's kind of weird I thought um, but I'm going to show you um, typically if you want to rename it you click on the layout uh, tab and you can select the chart name here but we're not going to make it that easy I'm going to name it bazooka and in VBA I am going to rename it so let's see if that worked it did work so let's show you how to let's say you're clicking here or you're just in general not even on that worksheet let's have Excel move us to this worksheet and select this chart and then I want to talk a little bit more about some subtleties with charts what you can and can't do and some workarounds so let's hit alt F11 okay and we're going to add a new module. We're going to call this new procedure um, chart selection because we're going to learn how to select different charts by name. Um, we happen to know this chart is now called Bazooka, but let's go ahead and get some things, some house cleaning out of the way. We know that this sheet is called More Charts, so let's get that out of the way. We're going to go ahead and declare MC Sheet as a worksheet and we're going to set it up MC sheet equals this workbook dot sheets and it was called more charts and uh, you don't have to do that much but I like to do it as a safeguard because then if oops because then if you just type MC sheet dot and you have all these things after it because you've already set it up to be an, a worksheet object so you got all the fun autofill options now. That being said, uh, the main way to get to a chart using VBA is using M, um, either Active Sheet dot or uh, Sheets more charts. In this case, I set M Sheet or MC Sheet to be equal to all that stuff. So I'm going to say MC Sheet dot Chart Objects. I'm going to hit. In, I'm going to hit the period and it's going to autofill the rest dot or excuse me not dot I'm going to hit uh, open parentheses and you see that they want either an index number like if it was chart one if there was three charts or if you knew that this particular chart was the second chart of the workbook I usually have no idea which one they are so I'm going to use quotes and I'm going to say bazooka because I know that's the one I want and I'm going to say dot activate because I want to activate the chart object in this particular worksheet called bazooka alright so first things first we're going to activate it so let me scooch this down a little bit so when we activate it we'll see that this is all lit up so let's hit F8 F8 okay and F8 here we are so bazooka has now been activated so um, let's go ahead and make another sheet just so we can show that we can activate one or the other uh, let's see here let's make a chart based off of just this selected data here and not including the bottom portion so we're going to insert a uh, let's make it a pie chart just for kicks there's our sales total and we'll scrunch that a little bit Okay, and we're just going to format a little nicer looking okay uh, this one is called chart 2 so let's rename that to bazooka oops control Z uh, we'll rename chart 2 to something more fun like sales total pie yeah let's do that so alt F11 let's see we have MC sheet dot chart objects bazooka first of all we want to we want to activate that one then we want to rename the other one so I'm copying, control C, control V to paste. Uh, the one we want now is called chart 
2 with a space, yes. Uh, you can put spaces as long as it's surrounded by quotes. Alright. Uh, chart 2 dot activate. How about we'll take chart 2 and rename it. In fact, we don't even have to activate it to name it. The dot name is now going to be equal to how about, uh, what do we say, sales total pi. So let's see if we can change the name of the chart object called chart2. The dot name should should be able to change that. So let's try that and then we'll select uh, let's select that one. We'll say mcsheet.chartobject and well, I'm just going to be lazy and control C and control V. So now that it's named this, we're going to activate that one. Let's try that F8. Walk through with me. So first of all, we're going to activate the one called Bazooka. And then we're going to activate chart 2 in this sheet. And I, we're, not, we're not activating it. We're renaming it to Sales Total Pi. Let's see if that works. And now when we activate whatever in the world Sales Total Pi is, Hey, what do you know? We can see that that one has been selected. That's pretty cool. Alright, other things that you can do, obviously, are the same things that you can do a lot of other things. If you have a dot activate, or dot select, or dot name, and typically you can delete something with the same thing. So dot delete would also uh, get you what you want. So, in fact, we could do that in the immediate window, down here. Uh, so MC sheet, well, MC sheet won't work because if we're not in that macro, it wouldn't, uh, let's see. If I hit F8, now that that object has been declared and MC sheet is really MC sheet, now I can do that. So I'm going to hit enter in my immediate window to do this little command here. And you see that it's gone now. So the dot delete thing surely worked. Some subtleties. When you're messing with charts of any kind, whether you're messing with the advanced properties, um, the axis, uh, the title, uh, border, or whatever that you're doing, a lot of these features they won't they won't let you do when the worksheet is protected. So a lot of times you're going to have to unprotect or protect the workbook using VBA in the middle of your code if you're messing with the chart. Um, so like I said, some things will work, and uh, even let's see. Um, I'm going to hit Alt TPP to protect, and I'm not going to put a password on this one. But just for example, even though it says, even though you may click Edit Object, and uh, is there one for charts? Let's see. So a chart is an object, so you should be able to edit the full chart, you know, the object that is a chart. So even if I hit OK and it's protected now, in VBA some of these things are going to give an error. So you're going to have to unprotect the worksheet. Um, and uh, we'll show you how to do that in the next video about pro worksheet protection in, in VBA. So thank you for watching and we'll hop right to it in the next video. Thanks for watching.